design is very different to what people think it is. Everyone's looking for the newest design that captivates people and will make them buy their products. Everybody thinks it's just a few drawings. Um, there's a lot more be that goes on behind the scenes. I predict that this, the creative economy, the creative arts, the creative consulting economy will just go into boomtown. Design is the creative process of making things, whether it's a shoe or a bit of a building or a whole building or an airport or a, a teacup, a teaspoon, or your, even your hairstyle has been designed. This is one of the many products designed at Northumbria Design School, a digital camera for children to explore outdoors and learn about the wildlife around them. They can then take it indoors and understand a lot more about the creatures they've discovered on their computer. I'm a keen skateboarder, so I've designed the first power assisted skateboard, which is a serious mode of transportation as well as a, a good bit of fun. The games industry has run out of here. All the internet industries, finding new forms of renewable energy is driven from here. There's a massive creative consultancy. Some big graphic design agencies are here who are doing work being full in competition with, with the London agencies. Um, big internet agencies working for the BBC are here, huge companies. My name's Alex Rousseau, I'm 26, and I study interactive design at Northumbria University. The exhibit I have here is a visualisation of music data, which you see on a, a live performance stage at Glastonbury or any large festival or gig. Science, maths, technology have all been vital to its development. It contains circuitry, which need to be calculated mathematically. The construction had to be considered from an engineering standpoint and then as a designer I've had to try and bring those different elements together and marry them to create one item so it couldn't have happened without maths, science and engineering. I left school at 16, joined the Merchant Navy Engineering Apprenticeship, um, left that, quickly went to Newcastle College to do interactive design and then moved on to Northumbria. I've got a 2-1 hopefully in this subject and hope to go on and do a Masters in the new year. Half the design consultants in the UK don't have design degrees so there are many many ways of being a designer without having to go to university, colleges of further education, apprenticeships, working through other companies. There is no hard and fast rule about how to be creative these days. My name's Ruth atkinson Layton. I'm 20 years old and currently I'm working as a mechanical design apprentice at Jacobs. Jacobs Engineering are the world's largest, most diverse company for technical services. We employ over 55,000 people and 6,000 of those are within the UK. In my day-to-day -day job, I do mechanical drafting, um, processing instrument diagrams. I have recently been working on a brand sands job, which is Northumbrian Water. When I was at school, um, they didn't really offer apprentice apprenticeships. It was all about college and going to university and going down the academic route full time. But now I've done it this way, I think it is the best route to do. At the end of the day, I get a salary for what I do as well as learning. I've just finished my HNC in mechanical engineering. I've done an ONC part time. I've just applied to Teesside University to do a mechanical degree. That's a bachelor's part time. Science, technology, engineering and maths are very important. The STEM subjects, which are the sciences, technologies, engineering and maths, are all constituent parts of being a designer. Whether you're designing a computer game and you need to know about the computing science, or whether you're designing a teacup and you need to know about the science of ceramics and clay. This is actually part of being a designer in the future. There's been a 30% rise in job availability in, in this industry in the North East lately and the uh, Centre for Design Research in Gateshead is going to be finished very soon so I, I think that, you know, that there's quite a lot of opportunity in the North. You can see the world through this line of work. 